This is my friend Deb. She sees dead people. Deborah Dirksen is a medium. And this is my friend Chris. He wants to hear from dead people. Chris, what sort of expectations do you have about your session today with Deb? I don't have any expectations. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see where it's going to go, to see if there is a connection or is she just really good at reading people and kind of, you know, rolling with the punches or is she actually making that connection? A healthy skepticism, but I'm open to understand there's a lot more stuff than I understand too. Deb didn't understand it herself at first. Eight years ago, she said spirits suddenly began to appear, telling her to pass on messages to friends and perfect strangers. She began to question her own sanity. Never believed in it before in my life, so it still seems quite insane to me. I was pretty flipped out by it because it, it was a huge reality shift for me. I, I didn't, I never sought it out. I never read books, I never went to see psychics or mediums, and so it was very, very shocking to all of a sudden hear and sense and feel and see um, energies that weren't part of this 3D world. How could I be crazy if the stuff that I was receiving was actually true when I couldn't consciously have known it? So do you actually see these spirits in front of you? Like, are they actually present in the room or do you just see them in your mind? So it rarely happens um, that I see them like I see you. It doesn't occur that way. I will feel a presence step into the space uh, in a multitude of ways. Like, it's, it's tangible. You feel that they've walked in and you can feel that they're masculine or feminine. And then you can hear them talking or saying things. They give impressions, they use metaphors, they give really phenomenally clear messages sometimes where it's like, wow, that was really impressive. I can not have made that up if I tried. She didn't have a religious upbringing. There was no talk in the home about God or spirituality. I didn't grow up knowing that we could sense and feel things outside of our, you know, just what our eyes were telling us or our ears were telling us or, our, you know, our, our body's touch was telling us. So um, I believe, and I've proven it over and over, that everybody has the capacity to sense something in spirit realm. And so um, I would love people to develop their own sense of intuition, their own sense of knowing. There was a lot of personal stuff in there, but it, it connected with me. It was a lot of questions that I've had running through my head for pretty much most of my life. I'm still such a skeptic in my mind that even though these things are coming to me and even though I've been doing this since 2008 and even though Spirit has done stuff that I just blows my mind, each day I'm still like, yeah, right, does this really happen? I was pleasantly surprised at it because it, it basically closed a lot of doors from my past. I'm happy Deb closed some doors for Chris, but she's opened my mind to many more questions. In Victoria, I'm Dan Kong. A quick aside to the story, I shot Deb and Chris's session with two cameras. One handheld that captured both of them, the other camera was unmanned. Locked on a tripod, shooting directly at Deb. After the session, we discovered that something mysteriously caused the unmanned camera on the tripod to slowly rotate to the right. You're watching that footage speed it up. What caused the camera to move? We still don't know.